The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Ian Utabi and we've got a G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. Today we're going to look at uh, Tiger Force Dusty. This came in the mail from Target. I uh, just arrived uh, basically yesterday, so I want to go ahead and get a video done on it. I already have the original version, but uh, I also collect Tiger Force as well. Real quick, before we get started, if you have not, go up there, hit that subscribe button, help out this channel. We're over the halfway mark to 5,000. So uh, that's the goal for the end of the year, and we'll see what we can do. But if you have not, if you're watching this video, just hit that button. You'll help out the channel. Share this video if you're interested in becoming a member or helping out the channel in any way. We've got super links available, memberships available. So uh, please do that if you're so inclined. So Dusty, Tiger Force, I think everything is basically the same as the original version. We'll do a quick comparison in there too, but um, it's just a, a redeco. So it is what it is. He is number 65, Tiger Force. You can see the artwork there. He's got on the kind of the green. He's still in the desert, but he's in Tiger Force. <laughs> Look at it. It's, I think they just took the artwork from the other one. But uh, there he is with some trees in the background and uh, looking at the sand. On the back, you can see the standard stuff. Yeah, this looks just like uh, I do like the uh, the green on the FAMAS. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see if they fix the helmet. Uh, I was uh, basically the first person to figure out how to fix the helmet, turn the goggles here backwards, put the helmet on, and it's snug. But let's see if they changed it. This is the older style packaging uh, before they switched to the new style and before they've gone to the clear. So won't be many more of these, and uh, we'll be on to the new stuff. So that's it. All right, that's it for that. Let's uh, open up the box and take a look at what he comes with. All right, let's take a look at accessories. Got one backpack, all in the green. Got some nice wrinkles and folds here. Uh, same, got a canteen on each side, some pouches, and the molly attachments, all that stuff. Looks pretty good in this color. Uh, we've got one knife. Standard combat knife, silver, black handle. Eh. We've got two pair of goggles. We've got a shorter pair. And a longer pair, one to go around the helmet and one to go around his head. Uh, they both have a red lens on the inside. And you can see the difference in sizes. Got one of his helmets here. I got straps hanging down. I've got the green with the band around it. The other one is tan. Yeah, we will do a comparison and see how that works. I have a feeling it's the same helmet. Nothing's been changed. And uh, it's going to be really loose unless you turn the goggles around. But... Let's just check it out. And then we've got its uh, rifle. Basically, it's a FAMAS. Bullpup magazine comes out in the back. I do like the green. It's got a slight bend to it. Uh, they've been using softer plastic with these weapons. And uh, a lot of them are coming out bent out of the box. I don't like that. Got a bipod that's mounted into the, the rail here. Um, but we've seen this before. Scope from top. Got a grip here on the bottom. Blast effect attachment thing on the bottom so you can take one of these like that and plug it in well or you just drop it somewhere on the floor where the crap that went it's supposed to work here let's see is it gonna work okay there we go so you can do that that's pretty neat like that we need more blast effects anybody's watching this send us more blast effects got the scope on top on the rail this looks good this rifles always look good the touch of green i really like and that's it pretty much for the accessories of spring in Mr. Dusty. His neck seems ridiculously long. Uh, and it's, I mean, it ain't because the, it's sitting on the peg. I don't, why is it so freaking long? I don't remember that, but maybe that's the case. It's got a giraffe neck going on here. Uh, outfit looks good. We got, uh, let's just go ahead and, I kind of wish he came with a pistol. Uh, I got a spot for the knife. Plug that down here. We've got green camo standard with the brown and the boots. And then we've got kind of the jacket with the belt. Uh, these are separate pieces. 
which is kind of unique in a way because uh, they're just they form like a bottom of the jacket but his waist is different you can see the belt underneath so like that uh he's got kind of his, his gear right here we've got a maybe a push to talk or something uh we've got the tiger stripes to door instead of root at and uh, gi joe came on the face doesn't look bad see this is kind of what i'm talking about for flint i think will look good let's try, check the helmet out yes <laughs> ridiculously oversized so here's what you do if you want to shortcut it uh put this on here like that set the helmet oh man it's gonna do it on camera so i don't know this seems just get the helmet on his head you can do it and you can have it more secure it does look a little weird the green helmet all these different shades of green here um you know do you need this figure in your life i don't know if you're collecting tiger force and i'd say yes definitely get it uh and then you can put this pair of goggles on top of the helmet like that get it right however you want it and then you can hold this rifle center articulation nothing different with this is a standard joe uh, you get all the double knee joint you know double elbows all that stuff i think it looks pretty good you know after flint i, I mean i don't know i feel like maybe you know, I, I have to see the list and see where we're at. You know, I don't, I know Roadblock is missing. Uh, I feel like, uh, was it Lifeline is in Tiger Force, and that might be it. Uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna go if they will stick to like the standard figures that are in the line, and I'll go that far, but I'm not gonna, if you keep adding on, I don't, I don't think I want to do go that far. But let me know in the comments you're picking up this guy. Interesting in getting this guy. Hopefully, uh, we're going to see the Televipers, Snow Job, and some other stuff pretty soon. Um, I thought Snow Job was coming sooner than this, but uh, Europe wise, I think are going to see all that stuff real quick. I've seen some things about pulse shipping some of the things early, like uh, Trouble Bubbles, but I haven't seen anything else from other people. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, he's a pretty good figure. Uh, add him to the shelf. Let's, uh, let's bring in the other Dusty and just get a, a quick comparison. All right, there they are. Uh, be honest with you, my preference is the original, the Desert Camouflage one. You know, it's it's the same figure as far as I can tell. I don't see any difference other than the, the Deco. Uh, they didn't change the helmet. I always wonder why they went with such a oversized helmet on this guy and forcing you to actually use the goggles on the head to keep the helmet from flopping around and, and looking silly. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that decision was. Yeah, maybe it's just fit and finish or didn't figure it out at the end. This is my favorite, definitely okay figure. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish out Tiger Force with the standard figures. But if you can start adding like, I don't know, like Torpedo to or whoever, whoever's not in, it, you start adding those guys and then Tiger Force just to expand the line. I think I'm gonna have to call it a day on that. I, the original figures that tied to the 3.75. Tiger Force, Python Patrol, Night Force, I'm good with. Let's don't let's don't get crazy. So it's just too many to collect now as it is. I have basically everything pre-ordered. Every Joe that's coming. Every one of them. So yeah, that's a little nuts. And HasLab, and I've got other vehicles and stuff coming down the road. So a lot of things. But yeah, definitely a cool figure. Uh definitely check him out. Target had him in stock. You can find him on Target shelves. Uh, and other places like that. So it's a good time to get into the line if you haven't. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, if you have not, and you're watching this video, go up there, hit that subscribe button at the top, help out the channel, like this video, share this video, and let me know what you think about Tiger Force Dusty. Thanks for watching. Yo, Joe, and we'll see you down the road.